My name's Gareth, and welcome to Fat Pigeon Audio Reviews, where today, uh, today, we're taking a look at a CD player. Yeah, a CD player from Arkham, a CDS50. Now, it's a CD player slash network player. So, here I am in my home reviewing a CD player. And it's all these videos online. But CDs are dead. Hey, CDs are dead. Oh, my God. There's no point buying CDs. CDs are dead. Streaming's the way to go. Now, meh, maybe, maybe. I personally don't think CDs are dead. And I don't think it sort of matters. To me, it doesn't really matter. If CDs are dead, fair enough. It doesn't matter. But it doesn't matter in the fact that they're still going to be out there. There's people still making CDs. So I don't know how CDs can be dead. Um, but it all depends on what you prefer. I mean, a lot of people prefer the stream inside of it. It is a lot more convenient. But I like to have a physical copy of something. Hence why I love my vinyl, my vinyl records. I buy a lot of those because I like the big 12-inch artwork. I love the process of getting it out of the sleeve and putting it on the record player and moving the arm across. I just like that sort of thing. And I, but I understand the fact that people also like the convenience of a streaming service. I get that. That's brilliant. But with this, with this... This is a CD player and it has a streaming service in it. Well, it's not this, it hasn't got a streaming service in it. You know what I mean? Spotify's not in there, um, and nor is Tyler, but it's classed as a network player. Now, when I, when I started doing research on this, before I actually got this, from Audio Lounge Leicester, Audio Lounge Leicester, again, have kindly lent me this to do a quick review and have a play with it and see what I think. And I do like it. It's got the Sabre DAC chip in it, uh, which is actually got in the SA10. It's actually a slightly better um, DAC within the CD player itself. But we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. So when I was doing research on this, um, it sort of looked like it, it didn't have, you couldn't use Spotify, you couldn't use um, Tidal or anything like that. Uh, and it was just sort of a NAS system. So it would connect to your home network and it would just play from hard drives and stuff or it would link up to your computer, whatever's on your network with music on it. And you can play that through it because it's also got USB on the back uh, so you can play files. So I thought that's pretty much what it's limited to. Uh, because it's not classed as a streamer, it's classed as a network player. So I thought, okay, um, that's that's fine. If you've got a NAS system and you've got hard drives and stuff like that within the network, you can play that music wirelessly or with a you know with a wire with the Ethernet cable. So I thought I'd look into it. So I thought I'd give it a go. I'll set it all up. I mean, I listen to the CD itself. I do like the CD on this. The sound quality from the CD player itself is exceptional. I do like it, but I do like, I said before, these Sabre DACs, the chip system that's in the Arcams. I do love the sound from those. And again, this is just slightly more musical, uh, a little bit more lower end detail for me that comes from this. Uh, the dynamics are a little bit better on the mid range um, than the actual, the Arcam SA10 DAC that's built into that. So I've actually put together a little video of how to set this up because you have to, I, I spent 20 minutes trying to get connected to the internet. Um, because, this is what I didn't read in the instructions, when you don't have a CD in it, it doesn't allow you to go back to the home. And I don't know why that is. Unless I was doing something wrong, but this is what I found. As soon as I put a CD in with the actual player itself, it then allowed me to press the stop button, press the left button, and go back to the home on the actual menu system. So I've, like I say, I've put a video uh, together so you can see that process of connecting to the internet. And then I've got also taken some photos of the app, uh, the... Oh, what's it called? The Music Life app. So I've just put a disc in, and this is what tripped me up. This is why I'm doing this little tutorial, as it were. Um, so yeah, so we need to get to the home. So you have to press stop on all the media. So when your CD player is um, actually playing, just press stop and then press the left arrow key. And when you press the left arrow key, it will bring you back to this home menu here. And it says that we're on disc at the moment. Then all you need to do is just go through the options. So you press down on the arrows. There's your coaxial input, optical input. USB input, obviously for your music, flag files and stuff like that within the back. It will search it for it there. Then we've got Media Browser, which is what you're going to use to play back um, your actual title. Your music provider. This is where you find your music provider. So let's go back out of there for now because we haven't actually set it up. So we go down to the settings menu, we press OK on your controller. Then set up, yeah, network. So yes, we are on Wi-Fi. I've got the antenna in the back. Then you select OK again and it will scan to find your network. And then this is where you select which network you want to connect to. Obviously, you've got your, your neighbours and things like that. And theirs will come up as well. So we'll scan for that. Now, this will already scan and it will find mine straight away. Oh, no, it hasn't. <laughs> okay, that's good. This is good. So this is this is next door. This is BT Phone Home. This is, this is mine here. Uh, so BT Phone Home is my home network. 100% uh, now, as you can see. And you select that. 
and then this is where you type in your password. Now I've already typed it in, it's already stored in the system, so I'm going to come back out of that now. So when that's all done, it's then all you need to do um, is go to your phone and download the... You have to download the Music Life app, which is the system that Arcam uses, the app that Arcam uses. So you download that Music Life app. Actually, it looks like the meta symbol from Facebook, which is strange. But download that, get that on your phone, and then that will obviously automatically connect because your phone is already connected to your network. And then as soon as you go into the actual app itself, that's where you're, um, you'll get a list presented to you of what you want to connect to, i.e. Um, Cubas. Tidal. Unfortunately, Spotify isn't on there. Now, I'm a big fan of Spotify. It's not as good quality, but I'm very used to it. But now I've got Tidal. It's fine. I can use Tidal. So if you've got Tidal, this is absolutely ideal for you. Um, so then now what you do, like I say, is I'll, I'll put some pictures on the screen for you so we can talk through it and go through it. So you literally connect to your Music Life app. It will then say it's connecting to the CDS50. And then it will just do it automatically. And then it will bring up a list of who you want to connect to. So I selected Tidal. You go through Tidal. Then you go down to all the way down to the bottom of the menu. Uh, and it will then show you my, I think it's my home or my media. Um, and that's when you say, that's when you select that, that playlist. There's about four different playlists above it. New playlist, this playlist, add a playlist. But go right down to the very bottom. And then that's where you'll find, like I say, your own personal playlist. So you click on that. And then boom, your Tidal's open. Um, your playlists are all there, you just hit a track like you would normally and it streams straight to the CDS50. And it also shows you, um, if I can, the kilobits and what's going through the system. Uh, so what actual kilobits the track is that you're listening to, which is nice. Now it doesn't come up with any of the title information or anything like that, just the kilobytes and the kilobit information that's running through the actual Arcam itself. And I just thought I'd put this into the video because, like I say, without that CD in, I was really struggling to get it back to the home menu. So you just remember to put a CD in. Press stop, press left on the controller, and then go down and scroll through your menus. It's also got a lovely little thing that I quite like. Now, it doesn't have it doesn't have the words scrolling across. It doesn't have the title or the track or the artist or anything scroll across the screen. It just tells you the kilobits that that track is playing at, like 900 kilobits or whatever, because it's from Tidal, or 700 kilobits. And it just shows you that on the screen. And it also does a counter, like a CD player would, you know, one, two, three, four, all the way up to, you know, the end of the track. Three minutes, whatever. Um, but I just thought, I didn't, again, I didn't expect, I didn't, but it was probably me with my research, I'm not entirely sure. But I just got this impression it was just for NAS stuff. It wasn't, it's not called a network streamer, it's not massively widely available to see on YouTube, but this has got a streamer built in. Again, it's for Tidal. I'm not sure if you can add Spotify to it, um, but I use Tidal. So Tidal streams straight to this from the wireless little antenna at the back. It's both. So as I was saying earlier, this actually has the capability to play your CDs and it's a streamer all within one remote control. Now, that's another good thing because I have the SA-10. On the SA-10 um, controller, you've actually got a whole CD section here. And you've got your amp. So you control everything from one controller, which I thought was fantastic. Loved it. I haven't got a separate controller. I want to find the CD controller. I want to find the amp controller. It's all built into one. And it lights up, which is nice. Uh, I knew that already because I've owned the amp for a while. But yeah, so this is, I mean, like I say, are CDs dead? Um, does it really matter if they are dead? At the minute, I'm going to show you something. At the minute, I've just been to a charity shop here in the UK. Because uh, everyone's selling up the CDs. I said, I get the fact that, you know, a lot of people don't want the CDs anymore. A lot of people are selling them off in charity shops and stuff like that and on eBay because they've got a streamer now. And that's obviously up to them. That's great. And I think it is great because I got Nina Simone, one pound charity shop. CD, very best of. I also got, can't believe this one, Diana Craw, one pound charity shop. Elton John, don't get me wrong. The Elton John is a double album. That was a full two pounds. But... Again, two pounds. Even if see, Simon and Garfunkel, a pound. Nora Jones, a pound. I've got loads of them. I've dropped them all. I've got loads of these. I went into a shop. I spent twenty-two pounds in the shop the other day, and I bought twenty CDs. Twenty CDs for twenty pounds, a pound each. So even if CD is dead, um, I don't mind. You know what I mean? It doesn't bother me that CD is dead now. They're still selling CD players. They're still selling new CDs. So I can't see how CD is dead, like I said before. But I like the fact that people think CDs are dead. And I, I sort of like the fact for my own selfish needs and for yours maybe as well, that you can get CDs that you love now for so cheap. Like I say, I like the physical copy. I like to have that. 
these are stored forever. This is a CD. I can keep them somewhere. And I, 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 again, I don't. I do understand that people don't have got CD racks that take up all their all their lounge space or their music listening room space. I get that. And they can literally free that up now, all that space up, because they've got everything on Spotify and Tidal. Tidal's more the most convenient source to use. Then you've got your CD, because you can skip through the tracks with a remote control. Then you've got your vinyl. And I like them all. I've actually got, I love the old technology. That's why I've sort of started buying up the CDs. I've got a HD DVD player with about 30 or 40 HD DVDs. That's dead. That is dead. Don't get me wrong. I've got laser discs and a laser disc player. That is 100% dead technology. Within the back of the system itself, you've got your RCAs out. So you can go straight into the back of your amplifier with that. You've also got two balanced outputs as well, which is great. Love that. You've got two digital in. So in theory, with the digital in, you can use these as a DAC. So you go in with your optical and then back out through the RCAs into your amp. Or I can use the optical cable from the amp. So I'll come out the optical cable into my SA-10 and use the DAC from that. So you can literally use the DAC on board or the DAC from that or use this as a DAC itself. You've got your trigger in, your IR in, RS-232 for your control. Then you've got your USB for your FLAC files, WAV files, all that sort of stuff that plug in the back and then display it on the screen. You've then got, like I say, your optical output. So you can use the DAC within the actual SA-10 or an amplifier or a separate DAC that you've got. Uh, you've got your Ethernet port and then obviously your wireless antenna and power to the very left there. You've sort of got quite a lot of options on the back there, especially with your balanced as well, your balanced outputs. Uh, but the fact that like you can run this as a standalone DAC, just pass it through the DAC, you know, optical in, RCA out. Uh, or you can use the DAC on that with, the, again, the, the optical that comes out. Fantastic. I love it. I do like it. You've got a lot of options then to play with. So you can have a standalone DAC. You can use this as a DAC. You can have a separate DAC. You can use a DAC on your amp. Love it. As for the display, like I say, when you're playing a CD, it's just a CD. So you've got your time, uh, you've got your counter, your time counter. Uh, then you can have the remaining of that track. Then you can have, uh, I think, remaining of the whole disc um, as well. Now I'll put some specifications up because I'm not, <clears throat> I didn't really go too deep in the specifications. I like to dive deep in the specifications for, for speakers and things like that uh, because you've got different frequency responses, all that sort of stuff. But with a CD player, I'll put something up on the screen. Because there's not really that much to shout about, apart from the, the Sabre DAC that's inside. And I will put that information on the screen for you to show you what Sabre DAC it is actually using. But again, I really loved the sound of this DAC. It had just a little bit more to it. It was When you put this one on, because it's got better sort of dynamics within the mid-range. Um, and like I say, it's a little bit more texture and detail to the bass, but it adds a little bit more bass for me. Not, not necessarily authoritative bass, but it just adds a little bit more of the low end. Um, again, these aren't, these aren't massive. This isn't night and day stuff. This is just what I heard between the two DACs themselves. Now, with this DAC, when you put it, when you sort of listen to this, and you've, you've listened to like an album, say, I've had it playing in the background, I've been sitting in my chair and I've been listening. Um, when you go then go back to this, it makes this sound a li just a little bit, a little bit thin on the top. Um, and then you go back to this and it, like, it, oh, it's full bodied a little bit more. But that's, I mean, this is really very subtle differences in between. Um, and that's just what I I can hear within my lounge here, within my home. Now, for the front buttons, very minimalist. I mean, I do like the big clicky button. If you've seen the videos that I did on the SA10, SA30, all that sort of stuff, I do like the big chunky buttons, the big clicky buttons on the front. Now, you've got very minimalist buttons for the rest of it. So you've actually got on the front here, you've actually got stop and it's eject as well. You've got play and pause, obviously, that's a normal. Uh, and then you've got your, your, your skip forwards and backwards and that's it. That's all you need. Everything else is done on the remote, like I say, within the settings as well. And hopefully you've seen, I'll put that bit in the video. So you can see me going through setting up the Wi-Fi, getting it connected and getting into Spotify. Well, sorry, not Spotify, getting into Tidal. So the CDS50, it's £649 retail at the moment. Uh, I think that's, that's what it was when I checked last. Prices going up and down all the time at the moment. I'm not sure what's going on in the world. Um, but this, for, for me, in the, today, now I'm looking... It is 649. And it's got the streamer built in. If you're a title fan, I say, I, I, I'm not sure. I mean, if you're looking at getting one of these and you're interested in one of these, see if you can get um, Spotify on it if you're a Spotify user. I know it's got Cubas and a few other ones. And like I say, I'll put some pictures. I probably already have. I'm not sure. But it will tell you the list of um, actual providers, streaming providers that it actually supports. 
And the fact that Tidal was on there, it brings up, like I say, the screen. It tells you what kilobits it is. And you're like, oh, yeah, that sounds better. And I, and I enjoyed that, just knowing what sort of kilobits was on the screen and what quality was coming through the DAC. Um, but again, are CDs dead? I don't I It really doesn't bother me. I'm buying up CDs for a pound from a charity shop. Maybe they'll come back, maybe they won't. But like I say, I like my old formats anyway. I don't really think it makes a difference if CDs dead or not. You can still get hold of CD players. You can still get hold of a lot of CDs. So it's entirely up to you as the individual if you want CDs still. I mean, I'm getting them. I'm buying them up like crazy because you can get 20 for 20 quid. Even less than that on eBay if you find a big bundle. CD quality to me is always going to be better. It's a pure source on a disc. It's always going to sound better to my ears anyway than a streaming format and the streaming format on this. So I did an A and B test. I did Simon and Garfunkel. I think it was Bridge Under Over Troubled Water. And then I did it. I played the track for about 30, 40, 50 seconds. Played the first, like, you know, few seconds of it. And then jumped over to the streamer and played the exact same one. And then jumped back again and A and B, A and B, A and B. And it just, the CD player itself just, just pits just a little bit more detail for me. You get more musicality, more of the mid-range from the CD, a little bit more detail within the mid-range. And like I say, the DAC's doing a very good job um, of sort of having this texture to the bass, this little, little detail to the bass, but not, it's not controlling it as such. It sort of added a little bit more for me over the SA-10 DAC. Um, but a very, it's, a very, it's a very nice system. The fact that you're getting... The fact that you're getting a streamer and a CD player. So if you're umming and ah and oh, you know, it's about five, six hundred pounds for the node, and then another CD, a CD player is going to cost me about five, six hundred pounds, but I don't know where to go streamer, I don't know where to go CD, boom! Get the RCAM. Because it's got both. It does both. I enjoy doing both. I've had it for a few days now, and I've been playing CDs, and I think I'll flip back. Mainly I've been A and B and stuff. Oh, that's a good track. It sounds great on the, on the streamer. Let's see what it sounds like on, the, on a CD. If I've got the CD. Um, and it's just an all round fantastic machine. It's great. And it does, I, keep, I know it's, there's probably loads out there, but this is my first introduction to a CD player that is also a streamer. It was only going to be a quick video. This is just a quick look. I only have a quick thing. See what, see what people are buying. See, leave some comments if you're still into CDs or you're, you're over CDs and you're into the streaming side of it. I'd love to hear your comments and sort of which way people are going and what sort of age groups are doing what. I know that for me, I'm a bit older maybe than some of my viewers or a bit younger, but I still like the form factor of a CD. And again, it's just slightly better quality over the streaming services. So... Let's call it. I'm going to call it there. I've been rambling for God knows how long this video has been going on. I'm going to have to piece it together because <laughs> my puppy's been in and out quite a lot. So and I've also got a real bad tooth today, but I'm going to the dentist in about one now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for watching. And hopefully, hopefully I'll see you in the next one.